Okay, what's up guys? Today is a question from our buddy Israel and he is saying to us he has a problem in that he experiences sleep paralysis and he finds it really scary. So this is obviously when you, uh, you're you unable to move. So when you're trying to have a wick-induced lucid dream or right back to bed, uh, it's where you're sort of laying there, usually on your back uh, in the middle of the night and you, you can't move any of your muscles. You're completely stuck to the bed, okay? Uh, and this can be really scary. This can be actually a really traumatic experience. Well, not traumatic, but it can be a really difficult thing to to experience if you're not used to it, and if you're, you know, if you feel helpless, as most people can when they experience sleep paralysis. So, I am going to offer you some uh, tricks, little little tips that can help you uh, not have sleep paralysis, or at least not be aware of it and not be as scared of it as you might be. So, uh, the first one is to realise that you should be sleeping enough. So, if you are sleep deprived, it can happen. Uh, it can be worse, you can, it can be more scary, it can be uh, more difficult to experience. So, sleep enough, you know, sleep maybe uh, eight to nine hours a night, depending on how old you are, the older you are, the less sleep you tend to need, um, within reason, but yeah, just try and sleep about eight or nine hours a night. Try and get in tune with your circadian rhythm, okay? So, this means going to sleep or starting to wind down when it gets dark, and starting to wake up when it gets light. This is the most basic form of sleep, uh, rhythm. This is how you can get more in tune with your body, with the world, and with your sleep patterns and everything like that. So, uh, get in tune with that. Start going to sleep, or start, at least start winding down and stop being active when it gets dark. Okay. Uh, obviously, this can't be helped if you have like a, a job where you work nights. So that's understandable. But as much as you can, try and get in tune with your circadian rhythm. That will sort of reduce your sleep paralysis, or at least make it happen less. So. The next one is to sleep on your side. Now, most times when you have sleep paralysis, uh, it happens when you're, either when you're trying to have a lucid dream, so when you're doing a wake back to bed and you're laying on your back, uh, or when you uh, haven't been getting enough sleep. So a quick way to sort of reduce it is to um, sleep on your side. So you can either just do this consciously and just sort of go to sleep on your side or not sleep on your back if that's what you're doing. Or you can put a tennis ball inside your, if you wear pyjamas, you can put a tennis ball inside your pocket and that will sort of stop you accidentally rolling over in the night. Another thing that is really helpful is to not eat as much before you go to bed. So if you uh, usually sort of snack and have really heavy meals late in the night, and by late I mean anything after 9 to 10, then try and stop doing that because that can also help you with uh, not experiencing sleep paralysis as much. Okay, another really useful thing you can do is, say if you're having sleep paralysis and it's sort of becoming a bit scary, you want to stop it, okay? If you just sort of lay there and wiggle your toe or your finger, uh, this will sort of restore movement to your body and you'll, you'll feel like, maybe I can move my whole leg, maybe I can move my whole arm. Um, so just starting by wiggling like a, a toe or something or a finger, this can uh, make it seem less scary for you. Um, what you. If you can't do that, if you're completely stuck, then what you can also do is to focus on your breathing uh, and to also sort of imagine that you're moving. So uh, imagine what it would feel like to lift your arm up, for example. And then after a while of imagining that, you'll find that actually you've sort of broken out of the sleep paralysis and you can move. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we're about to pass 900 subscribers. I'm hoping to get to 1,000 by the end of this year. Um, that would be really nice. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.